So over here we have got a very simple but tricky question on the basis of polynomials. So over here we have to assume the standard form of a polynomial guys p of x. You can assume it like this. Now you see over here x raised to the power 0 or n raised to the power 0 is 1 only. I hope that is okay with you. Everything will become equal to 0 only and a n we have already proved to be equal to 0. So what does it mean that this whole thing is becoming equal to 0 only. So over here we have got a very simple but tricky question on the basis of polynomials. So let's do it. Over here it is given that let p of x be a non-zero polynomial with integral coefficients. If p of n is divisible by n for each positive integer n, we have to find the value of p of 0. So over here we have to assume the standard form of a polynomial guys, p of x. You can assume it like this, any coefficient uh, a1 x raised to the power n plus a2 x raised to the power n minus 1 plus dot 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 it will go on up till what guys it will go on up till suppose a n minus 1 x raised to the power 1 plus a n x raised to the power 0. I hope this is clear to you. Now over here it is given that p of n is divisible by n for each positive integer n. So for that let us find the value of p of n first. It means in place of the variable x we have to put n over here. So a1 n raised to the power n plus a2 n raised to the power n minus 1 plus dot 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 it will go on up till what guys a n minus 1 n raised to the power 1 plus a n n raised to the power 0 over here. Now you see over here x raised to the power 0 or n raised to the power 0 is 1 only. I hope that is okay with you. Now it is given that this p of n this p of n is divisible by n over here for every positive integer n. So what does it mean? If you divide this polynomial by n, what does it mean? Suppose I divide by n over here, right? So you see if you divide and distribute it, right? You see n will be cancelled out. I can write it like this a1 n raised to the power n upon n plus a2 n raised to the power n minus 1 by n and so on. See, it will keep on going like this. You will see that only what will be left for us? Only a n will be left. Only a n will be left over here. So it is given over here that this thing is exactly divisible by n. So what does it mean? That there is no other possibility but to take a n to be equal to 0. There is no other possibility but to take a n to be equal to 0. It means in this polynomial there is no constant term. I hope this is clear. So suppose you take this form over here or you can take this thing over here as well. There is no constant term. This thing is 0 or you can say this thing is 0. Now we have to find the value of p of 0. Now it has become very simple. If you find the value of p of 0, just put a uh, in place of n you can put 0. See this will become 0 only. This will become 0 only. This will become 0 only. Everything will become equal to 0 only. And a n we have already proved to be equal to 0. So what does it mean that this whole thing is becoming equal to 0 only. So what does it mean that p of 0 is 0. I hope the question is clear to you.